gonna we watch have, BBDDR. We have black, uh, white. We have um, black, white Nephros. We have um, blue, white Daris. One turn heal, I think that is. And we have green, white elves. Of course, the Magic Pro using the Magic Shorthand. And we oh, have. Yeah. So you were. So you said you were doing PVDDR. Yes. Oh, then I'll do D2. And D2 is running Coronis Implants, um, Coronis Implants, Daris, which is um, Daris Wisdom um, Corruption Control, and Nieva, yeah, and just Elves. Okay. So. All right. And we're off to the races. Yes, and this is going to be more of a mid-range Coronis because he's playing the Cataclysm. He's playing the Helms as opposed to the really aggressive build. The implants, yeah. Yeah. Well, we will see. PVDR's hand is a bit, a bit weak. He doesn't have. He only has a Summoner Druid as a two drop, but he does have Niena and Cavalry Field as three drops. Well, D two has. A silver blade, a power lust, an overcharger, a helm, and a cataclysm. Cataclysm, unless PVDDR. Let me check. I would assume PVDDR would see the um, the value in PVDDR is not playing path. He's playing the more aggressive build then. Yeah. So that um that cataclysm could be the decider against um, PVDDR. He's contemplating. I think he should just play the summoner. He might get assassinated, but it's better than not playing anything. Assassinate from D2? No, but he does have a, um, a gross experiment to drop. Still, uh, PVDR is going to get a strong turn with Nienna and Captain then. <clears throat> oh. I'm sorry. He does have a... Um... <coughs> oh. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, he did. I I didn't see the green shimmer around the shrine, so he could have played. <clears throat> oh. <coughs> Excuse me. Um. There is that. Is he actually going to coin the Outbreak? I mean, Ambush Strike? He is! Instead of playing Nienna. Interesting. I suppose it's fine. He has a I second mean, this, Cavalry Field. I mean, this really does get PVDDR some serious tempo here. Just because now um, D2 is really going to have to... I mean, the best thing he could do... Assassinate Assassin. He could... Um, Assassin Gross Experiment, he could assassinate Gross Experiment, but really none of those are like ideal plays. Assassinating the. No, not the captain. That is not the right target. The summoner is much more dangerous. Because it's going to get him two mana for free, basically. Yeah. Um, and he plays. I mean, he does have the. I assume he's going to toss the vampirism. He did top deck of. or draw vampirism this turn. Whoa. But I assume. I assume... Nope, he throws away... I guess I, I guess I kind of forgot what he was throwing away. Um, I guess I missed what he threw away. But he still has the Overcharger, so he next turn can um, overchar or Overcharger and then attack the Druid. Okay, so what's he gonna do? Wow. Oh, he's gonna drop a Haldiri now for zero. That's pretty rough. <laughs> Nothing like a free 3-3 three, three, uh, creature with Swift. For zero, yeah. 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 It's it's for this reason I dislike the summoner. I, I do think the stacking it is a little bit ridiculous. Just a little bit. Like, it actually, there, it's possible to play Haldiri on turn two with, for zero. If you open Summoner into Spark Summoner, 
and then next turn, Scout, double summoner, Haldiri. <laughs> That's insane. That is absolutely disgusting. I did that it is... once, my opponent immediately conceded. <laughs> and I kind of felt bad. I wouldn't have. <laughs> oh my god, Boltor. I wouldn't have because the, it's like once in a blue moon that that ends up happening. And okay, well he can play some, another Haldiri for sometimes, zero. Sometimes in card games like this, you've just got to be like, oops, I derped. And it's not you don't have to patch and fix every single oops, I derped interaction in in the card game. People are now wanting my keys. Am I going to have to give away all of the rest of my keys? I got to save some for my streams. Yeah, I, la I laughed at the 20 from Boltor, not enough. I just, and when you said that, I immediately thought to myself, oh, that means I'm going to have to, like, private message, like, 20 people, and it's going to be kind of <laughs> a little bit of a, like, a little bit of a, an issue. But doesn't matter. Okay, he can play... I do it for my Haldiri? Tapes. Oh, he could have played Haldiri and Cavalry Field, actually, which would have let him kill the other Haldiri. But he can still play... No, he can play Haldiri for zero. Never mind, I'm wrong. This is even better. I was about to say, by my math, he can still play Haldiri for zero as soon as, as long as this is it's the next thing, your next creature he plays. Wow, that's 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 ridiculous. Two back-to-back -back free Haldiri. And this is the kind of thing that someone like PVDDR would figure out. You know what I mean? Yeah. And this is one of the reasons why I originally had picked him, though. Um, originally I picked him to win the whole thing. Yeah, he's gonna just kill the other Haldiri, and he's got a huge board. But there is a Cataclysm, right? Yes. So this could punish him quite a bit. So, yep, we could get a Cataclysm here. I mean, he has to. How He just dies to the hero power immediately. Absolutely. So, down drops the Cataclysm. I would assume. There it is. Bam! That actually puts PVDR in a bad spot, although he does have the Niena to try to recover. Yeah. Which might be enough. But... D2... Throws away his, um, ooh. A D2 Divine Offering into a Cathedral of Night. Next turn could can drop the Vampirism. That's good. That's very good for D2, not so good for PVDDR. <laughs> uh, he gets one free card. Uh, is he gonna play the Brothers? Sure. Ooh, top deck to assassinate. Probably killing Nienna is what you want to do here. I don't know. It's pretty juicy for, it's pretty juicy to get the to kill the two creatures. Yeah, but Nienna is what it's what's keeping PVDR in the game. Oh, I know. Killing I'm just saying for, for someone. I, you know what? What I've, I haven't seen any mutants played yet. What's up with that? Yeah, everyone we've come across D two. Let's see. Has mutants. Every, like, Dominion deck we've come across, they all are playing mutant. They just can't seem for anyone to draw. You know what I mean? No <laughs> one seems to be able to draw mutants. Yeah. Well, we'll see if PVDR goes for the hero power. Send back the scout. Hope to draw something good. So, hero power, nope, I didn't think so. Hero power would have gotten another 4, dropped him to 11. Well, D2's got the ball now. He's he's very well ahead on cards here. Ooh. Yeah, the Gnome nice. Surgeon, too. And a Raven. That's gotta yep. be good. 
<sighs> PVDR is really down here. He needs another Nienna. Summoner yeah. doesn't do very much. What will he do? What can he do? Outbreak the assassin and go for the face? Play the play the shrine to get the extra boost? He could do like 10 damage right now. No, he attacks instead. That's very weird actually. Yeah, the assassin just blocks it. And he just does 2 damage. And not much more than that actually. Well, I thought the other play would have been a bit better. Bounce the assassin. Hey, there he is. Mutant? Yep, there's a mutant. It's the first mutant I've seen all this tournament. Yeah, which is weird. I mean, they're everywhere. They're just no one can seems to be able to draw them. But the mutant allows him to... He can drop the mutant. Actually, he can... Yep, vampirism, drop the mutant. You know what? what's even weirder? We haven't seen any power lust incarnates. Well... D2 did draw one. He didn't play it, though. He mulled it. He, um, offering it away. Really? Yeah, he had one in his opening hand, but really when he, you know, the first couple of turns, it was, that was like the last thing he wanted to play. Ooh, ouch. What's even going to be more ouch is his metabolic overcharger. No, PVDR has outbreak. Oh. He should I wonder attack if... with the raven first. Okay. And then, I was about to say, I wonder and then if... see if he uh, outbreaks the Raven. Because if he does, then there's no reason to waste an Overcharger. Yeah. Like, I was wondering if um, D2 would, ex would suspect that. But, D2 comes to us representing... And I'm going to ruin this name, because I think it's French. Nuit Blanche. Uh, Hearthstone team. Former... Former member of my favorite Hearthstone team, don't kick my robot. Damn. Well, I'm not sure how PVDR gets out of this. No. But fortunately. Sharpshooter helps. He could actually send back the 2 1 and then kill the mutant. Yeah. He, um. He has to send it back, I think. Otherwise, it will. Well, no, the problem is, though, that he. That he can't kill it, actually. If he if if he tries to attack it out, he just powers himself up. So I assume he's gonna bounce the uh, the the gnome and just kill the mute. No. Oh, he needs two mana. What am I thinking? What am I thinking? He 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 doesn't have the two mana. So this is perfectly fine. And then he just hero powers and kills the other guy. For some reason, I didn't look at the mana. So that was my mistake. Oh, I see. Yep. I was wondering what you meant. But yeah, he didn't have the mana to use um, uh, Surgeon. So that was a good play. Uh, D2 is ahead, but not by much. He can keep making Ravens, though. That's a big deal. He's... The biggest deal is the overcharger that D2 has in his hand. Oh, wait, no. He's still got the outbreak. What he should do here is kill the 2-1 and hit face. Oh, that's not good. Although I guarantee you the hero power to kill off the... Yeah. The hero power is coming down regardless. There's no reason... Or not? Well, he will now. Yeah. He probably figured maybe he'll just get a kill anyways. But he's just behind. Yeah. And the fact that D2 has life link, or life bound, I'm sorry, in Out. play. It's not a good and... card. It does stop the Raven, but D2 is spawning them for free. Yeah. D2 D well, should just hit the face here before. D2 don't don't drew... play Overchargers, just hit face. D2 drew a Cataclysm and a Gross Experiment, and he's going to throw away the Cataclysm in wisely. For a Dominion Shrine. Is he gonna outbreak the Raven? Yeah. No. He doesn't. It's a tough decision, and it's bad either way. Part of me is thinking you kind of almost have to. I think he will do it next turn. Because of the just the you don't want there to be any life differential. 
any more life to differential than there already is. But he's got to send back the elf warrior if anything. The outbreak. He sends back the outbreak, and he gets a useless shrine. That's that really hurts. He has to bluff an outbreak. I think that's the only way. Double silver blade warriors. That's really good, actually. Really good. Damn. He might as well. I feel like he should put the gross experiment in the front. Could he? Oh no, he has two three-speed creatures. There's no. There's no losing here. He is taking five damage though. But without the outbreak, he can't stop this two life getting gained. No. So. No, I think D2 has got this. Yeah, I think it's... With PVDDR in top deck mode, that vampirism is just going to win the game for D2. And he draws a Grove Guardian, which is completely useless. See, this is why I run Path again, because Path gives you, like, late game chances. Yeah, and it's a, it's a strong yeah. counter card to... Um... It, it crushes control decks as well. Yeah, and it's just a good kind of counter, so to speak, to um, E Cup is up 1 0 over Zyzo. Alright, it looks like your boy might win. Well, All my right. second pick. Mm -hmm. oh, whatever. Whatever. One of your boys. Yeah. Um, well, it's not like PVDDR is doing too bad. No, he's, no, he's two out of. He's got two out of three. He could get the uh, third point as well. He's already ahead a point. Oh, no, he's yeah. not. He's losing. I'm sorry. He's down a point. He lost last game. Yeah. He's switching over to Hermelian. No, D2 is switching over to Elves. So that's Elves versus Hermelian. Oh my! Always the crush. Always the cutthroat games. Grove Guardian. <laughs> Grove Guard. Oh man, Grove Guardian. Elf Scout, Double Elf Warrior, and uh, Tornado Outbreak in D2's hand. There's... Is he gonna search for Nyana? Summoner Druid, interesting. Maybe he wants one of those... Maybe he wants his free... Um, Haldiris again. He does have a uh, amb Ambushing Sharpshooter, which is what he will play probably this turn oh, to attack the Grove Guardian. Maybe. I'm not actually sure. My internet dropped out for a second, but apparently it's not making any kind of a... Apparently it's not causing any kind of problems, so... No, not not seeing any problems, no. Actually, we haven't had any problems this stream at all. It's amazing. <laughs> we haven't had any problems this stream, knock on wood. <laughs> Last thing, you, last thing, you, next thing you know, the freaking like servers just explode <laughs> because you jinxed it. Oh yeah, of course. Thanks, Voltor. Don't look at me. You're the one who um, you're the one with the famous last words. Yeah, whatever, whatever you say. Okay, PVDR is in reasonably, Ooh. reasonably decent position here. He's got the ambush strike to defend his himself here. So, okay, D2 could have gone second level for both a Nienna, or for a Nienna, but instead it's probably just going to choose to flood the board. Um, he can... Is he going to coin the Ambush Strike to kill the, uh... Kind of has to. Yeah. He can play Cavalry Field next turn, actually, which is really strong, because he gets another Otherwise... kill, basically. Otherwise, he would have basically had nothing, and D2 would have had three dudes on board to PVDDR is basically none. I mean, yeah, he's got the Summoner Druid, but the Summoner Druid is more just like a an ability than an actual creature right now. Yes. He can play so. Nyana and Cavalry Field, though, which is probably what he should do. Well, he yes. needs to Divine Offer to get a White Shrine here to play Cavalry Field to kill uh, something. Well, D2, D2 could do what um, we saw the other game. He doesn't have any shrines in his hand, so he could whiff on Divine Offering. Was it, wasn't it? it a PVDDR game we watched where his opponent whiffed? Who was the opponent? We were was, watching uh, the... was it at C4? 
Yes. I know C4, he was playing I the think, rage. had a really bad luck. Yeah, he... He, um, he got the Order Shrine. He whiffed on the one Rage Shrine against... Yeah, Elves. So, good event. PVDR's got a tough decision. I can imagine. He could. There's a lot of things he could do. Goes for the mana as opposed to the level. Interesting. So he could play Summoner Druid and then Sharpshooter for zero. Or for one, actually. He might just play it for zero, anyways, which makes sense. But he could also Captain here. There's a lot of options. He does he does that. But what is the sharpshooter attacking then? Why not power up the 2-2? Two -two and then have that attack one of the other elves. Right? He could he could get two kills for free here. Yeah, he absolutely could. And he's thinking to the rope. Yeah, I don't understand why he's doing it this way. Buffing up the 2-2 two -two would guarantee another kill. It would put him in a great position, because... Unless he's defending against Haldiri, but he can't play Haldiri yet. Yeah. Um... Let's see. I mean, could, we'll probably see a Nienna here. Nienna and Elf Scout, unless there's a Grove Guardian sitting on the top of D2's deck. Um... He didn't whiff on the Shrine. He does have a Nature Shrine in hand. He could... Uh, I could whiff on... Or, no. So, it's probably going to be Niana. Unless... No, because there's absolutely no reason to play Brothers in Arms right now. It literally just dies. So, yeah, Niana is pretty much the only play for D2 right now. Yep. Oh, Elf Commander on the top. Nope, but... I don't, I'm actually surprised okay, people are well. still running Commander. I don't think it's good enough. Uh, it's just it's the effect is not very useful. I mean, not, he doesn't get to attack. Well, in in Elf Rush, I can see playing Elf Commander. In Hermelian, no. All right, D two, mulling away or offering away for a shrine. He's down to no cards. Yeah, well, the brothers, there's the brothers in arms back on the top of the deck. Yeah. We'll have to see what Paulo has here. Well, there's my beagle. He's awake and howling downstairs. I don't know if anyone can hear it, but I hear him. I actually don't hear anything. Oh, that's good. <laughs> maybe, maybe after. Oh, hey, maybe, not. maybe after the stream, I'll go down and um, grab the beagle so everyone can see. My noisy beagle, but anyway, we'll see what Paulo has here. Everybody could play, in the front. But could play pretty much anything. Ooh, could get the free. I think he's gonna go for the free brothers in arms. Yep. Although it doesn't get the trigger. No, but it's still a free creature on the board. There's exactly. no reason not to do it. I know, but I wonder. I just wonder. Paulo seems to know all of the Hearst, or the Hearthstone, the um, Spellweaver interactions. I just wonder if he knew about Brothers in Arms not getting the trigger there. Of course, I don't know what's in, what else is in Paulo's hand, so I don't know if he even has, like... He, he has Outbreak and Captain, but he went for a second green level, which means he can't... He has to spend another level to get a Captain. And really Hero sucks. Power. But I think right now, Hero Power is the last thing from his mind, because he's just trying to control the board. Well, D2 can play the Brothers in Arms in his hand, but he can't uh, Swift him. So it does give Paulo a turn to respond. Ambush Strike on top? That's always good. True, but... 
D2 can't... D2 drew already this turn, so he's not going to be using that ambush strike. Knowing oh, that... The swift. There is the swift. Is he Knowing that... To the, uh, one of the summoners? He's probably going to try to clear the board here. Yeah, I was about to say, if... If... D2 doesn't control the board, then Paulo has a really good counter turn to try to get the board back. And the only problem is he can't kill the scouts in any way. Sends back the uh, elf, which is a good play. And I he could actually hear a power here and do a lot of damage. But I don't think he's going to. He's probably going to try to draw for more elves. Yeah. He would do 12 damage, but I don't think it's really worth that much right now. Ah, oh, he is Divine Offering, though. Is he going to look for that white shrine? Oh, whiffs. Ouch. Yikes, that is... Very painful. That is very, very painful. He just goes face. He doesn't have anything better to do, so might as well. But this is very bad. Ambushing strike, an elf warrior. That other Nienna really isn't going to be doing a whole lot of anything, except getting a card out of the um, out of the way. There's a buff. And I assume, yeah, he's doing this so that he can play the the brothers in arms. But brothers in arms gets traded off by the other brother in arms. So I'm not sure what the idea there is. Mm. Well, he has enough mana to play both the Elf Warrior and the Brothers in Arms. Flooding the board makes some sense. Indeed. Uh, PVDR can still clear. If he captains the one of the summoners and runs it into one brother and then... No, no, he has to... Yeah. No, runs that into the Elf Warrior. And then his brother into... One of the other brothers. Maybe with a buff. That actually would be the thing to do. He needs that white shrine. Oh my god. PVDR just can't catch a break on this divine offering. It might cost him this game. Well, according to Twitch chat, Ecop won the whole thing. Well, nicely done. He's the one player I watched the most this week, so maybe that has something to do with it. The luck of a Boltor. <laughs> I did face him a few times on ladder. He played Hermelian mostly. Well, no, I, I mean, I watched him play his her, his Hearthstone games. Um, like his past tournament stuff. To kind of get an idea of his play style and everything. So, like you said, Buff, I guess he really wants to guarantee the kill on um, the brothers. Well, because the elf Although, could intercede. Now there's no reason for it to intercede at all. Yeah. Although, minor misplay. He loses the other brothers in arms that he played he could have attacked and then played it. What does D2 do? There comes the sharpshooter. I think D2 is going to is going to win this game. PV has been punished ho horribly by not getting an order shrine.
I noticed a lot of these guys are taking a lot of time, which is cool. I like that. There goes the attack. All face. Interesting. I guess PV can't really mount much of an offense. No, he's... I mean, he's got three damage in play, even six with the hero power, but that's not anywhere near enough. I mean, he and, can just kill one of them. I guess he's afraid of ambush strike. Because you could just and, attack the summoners and kill two of them. Yeah, and D2 is holding an ambush strike. Yeah, I think he should just kill his summoners to make sure he has complete board control. I don't see why he's going face. Ah, look at that. And he's got Haldiri on top, which is amazing. Absolutely. There you go. Getting two free kills will be a big deal. He could even kill the third by offering one scout. Which he might as well do. Oh. He's gonna use the ambush strike for it. I don't think that's worth it. I think ambush strike is more valuable than a scout. Yeah, I think double attacking there and holding on to the ambush strike would be better. So, D2 crushes the board, basically. I don't see how PV can come back from this. Yeah, it's pretty much over for PV. Er, Unless he gets of. a godlike roll of elves right now. I know. He would need, like... Finally an order shrine, but that's like an insult, basically, at this point. Elf scout? Nope. <laughs> you raised my hopes and dashed them quite marvelously. <laughs> <laughs> yep. All right. And Maybe that's going to do it for, for Paulo.